Hi everybody, today we're going to be looking at uh, an add-on that I wrote for Blender called Render Reminder, and what it does is it sends an email and plays a sound when your render is finished. So we're going to look at how to download, install, and use it. So to download, we're going to go to Render Reminder from uh, Spectral Vector's GitHub, and uh, the links will be in the description. So we're going to click over here for releases. Um, if you click on the code up here, you will download the whole repo as a zip, and you'll have to unzip it because the only file that we actually need is the .py. Um, so we'll just download that .py. So once that's downloaded, yeah, we want to keep it. Close that, then we hop over to Blender, and let's just go up to Edit, Preferences, we're in Add-ons, Install, and we'll navigate to that Pi file, uh, Render Reminder, okay. Install Add-on, then we will Enable, open the dropdown, and let's see what we got here. Okay, so what uh, this does is it will send you a notification when your render is finished and we can choose from a few different options here um, So we can have just sound or we can have an email and we can also attach the render to the email So just a little demo of the sound first. Let's just uncheck these Test the ding sound There we go. Sounds good. We've got another in here coin so these come built into the add-on, and then if you want, you can also select your own. So we go to user here, and let's, uh, let's see. Uh, there it is. And now let's test our user setting. It really is heinous of you, Bota. How perfect. Okay. So let's say we do want to uh, send this email, and we do want to attach the render. Well, let's, let's leave attached the render out for now. So let's say we're just gonna send the email. So up here we've got SMTP server, uh, I'm using Gmail, that's the port that it needs. Um, so I have only tested this with Gmail, um, and there is a little bit of a catch. So what I did was I signed up for an extra Gmail account, a, a dummy account or an account just to send me renders, because what you need to do is, and you'll find this out, um, you need, to have allow less secure apps on. And if you try to set that on, um, first of all, this setting is really hard to find. I can only find it by clicking this link. I wasn't able to just navigate to it going through my settings. Um, so if you click on this, you'll find, um, give it a second to load here. So this setting is not available for accounts with two-step verification. So I have a two-step, uh, two-factor authentication um, on my personal account, so I can't even use this on my personal account. I need to have uh, an account with less secure access. So once you sign up for your Gmail account, you can come here, click this link, and once again, this is just this main page. Um, you can click this link, set less secure apps to on, and then this will work for you. So I have set up myself with a uh, uh, an email account just to do this, and then you put in your password here. And then down here, you can put in the address that you want to send to. So I'm going to send this to my main email address. And then let's pop over here. And we're just going to send a test email first. So test your notification settings. There's our ding. And in a second here, we should see, there we go, render complete. So I will expand this out a little bit. So. Up in the subject line, uh, it just says nothing dash render complete. Uh, that is because we have not given our blend file a name. So what it will do is it will name it after the blend file. It'll say render complete as the subject line. And then in here, it'll say the name of the blend file, finished rendering, and the name of the render. And then it'll say at uh, the date and time. So let's do an actual render. So now that we've got this all set up, let's attach to the render. Um, we'll go into our default scene here, and let's just make a slight little change to our cube. We're gonna make it glow, glow blue, give it some strength, and let's save this as blue glow. Okay, now when we render, 
which we can just do the regular way, F12 render, or click through the uh, menu. Give it a second. Ah! And I'm waiting for the ding, and the ding did not come. And the reason the ding did not come is because I forgot the last little gotcha here. We have to have a file name and a file extension. So I'll call it glowcube.png. So this is a limitation that even as I'm saying it, I'm like, that I should have coded a way around this. So in a future update, I will uh, have a workaround for this. But for right now, you have to make sure that your uh, render has a name. So we do that again, F12 to render. And now in a second, we should hear our ding. There it is. So we'll close our render, pop over to our Gmail, and boom, there it is. Blue glow, render complete. We click on our message, click on our message, and there we see our render. So let's give that another little test. Let's say we don't want a cube. We want a uh, monkey, and we want to rotate that monkey a little bit, because who doesn't want to rotate a monkey? Oh, come on, cooperate with me here. Woo! Okay, now let's give it another little rotation. Yeah, that's fine. And let's give you a new material, Suzanne. We will give you a lovely red glowing material, even glowier than before. And uh, let's see, let's call you Suzanne Glows PNG. And uh, let's render that image. Wait for a second. Oh, there it is. I wasn't patient enough. I almost thought it wasn't happening. Okay, so then we can click back in, and there we've got uh, suzanneglows.png attached to that email. So that is how to download, install, and use it. Once again, it's available in Edit Preferences add-ons, and you can tweak any of the settings here that you need to. Uh, for instance, you probably noticed that we had to wait a few minutes, so if you just want a notification the second that your render is done, we can just render it with the sound notification only, and that'll play as soon as the render is finished. Uh, same goes for the email notification. It'll send slightly faster, and then the slowest one is when you have to attach the render, and the sound notification will play when the entire process is finished. So if you just want to hear the sound when uh, the render's finished, you're going to turn off the notifications. If you want the notifications, then the sound will play just, you know, a second or two uh, after the render is finished. So you can download this from uh, my GitHub page. Uh, you can also get it on uh, Gumroad, any of the other, uh, you know, usual open source coder support websites. And uh, any future updates will be free. Um, those other links are just a way to support me, support the project, and help me to continue to maintain it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope someone finds this helpful.